And here is the Writer's Almanac for Wednesday, December the 23rd, 2020. 1823, on this date, in the Troy Sentinel newspaper in New York, the poem A Visit from St. Nicholas was published anonymously. It's the birthday of the poet Robert Bly, Madison, Minnesota, 1926, took up writing when he joined the Navy after high school, went off to St. Olaf College on the GI Bill, then to Harvard, went to work at the Harvard Advocate, and met a student a year younger named Donald Hall. They became best friends and exchanged letters twice a week for decades with the rule that You had to respond to the other's letters within 48 hours. It's the birthday of Carol Ann Duffy, born in Glasgow in 1955, the British poet laureate. She grew up in Staffordshire, England, and started out reading poetry and then copying out her favorite poems longhand in a notebook. She said it was that very physical act that led me to become a writer. She was named Poet Laureate of Britain in 2009, the first female, the first Scot, and the first openly gay person to serve in that role. It's the birthday of Harriet Monroe, born Chicago, 1860, who in 1912 founded Poetry Magazine and was its editor for many years. And it's the birthday of Norman McLean, born Clarinda, Iowa, 1902, author of the autobiographical novella A River Runs Through It, which begins, In our family, there was no clear line between religion and fly fishing. We lived at the junction of great trout rivers in western Montana, and our father was a Presbyterian minister and a fly fisherman who tied his own flies and taught others. He told us about Christ's disciples being fishermen, and we were left to assume that all first-class fishermen on the Sea of Galilee were fly fishermen, and that John, the favorite, was a dry fly fisherman. Here's a poem for today by Carrie Shippers, entitled, In Your Next Letter. Please describe the weather in great detail, if possible, enclose a fist of snow or mud, everything you know about the soil, how tomato leaves rub green against your skin and make you itch, how slow the corn is growing on the hill. Thank you for the photographs of where the chicken coop once stood, clouds that did not become tornadoes. When I try to explain where I'm from, people imagine cornbread, cast iron, cows drifting across grass. I interrupt with barbed wire, wind, harvest air that reeks of wheat and diesel. I hope your sleep comes easy now that you've surrendered the upstairs. Hope the sun still lets you drink one bitter cup before its rise. I don't miss flannel shirts, radios with only AM stations, but there's a certain kind of star I can't see from where I am, bright, clear, unconcerned. I need your recipes for gravy, pie crust, canned green beans. I'm sending you the buttons I can't sew back on. Please put them in the jar beside your bed. In your next letter, please send seeds and feathers, a piece of bone or china you plowed up last spring. Please promise I'm missing the right things. In your next letter... A poem by Carrie Shippers from Cause for Concern, published by Abel Muse Press and used by permission here on the Writer's Almanac, funded by donations from listeners like you. Be well, do good work, and keep in touch.